Hello and welcome to Freedom News, the news you can use to help keep Canada free. From the desk of Spencer Fernando, we have this breaking story. Hypocrite! Catherine McKenna silent on China illegally emitting banned gas that destroys ozone. She prefers to take money away from Canadian taxpayers instead. Again and again and again, we see that the carbon tax isn't about the environment. It's about taking money out of our pockets and concentrating it in the hands of the central government. Catherine McKenna talks a lot about the environment and about scientific facts, yet she consists she constantly ignores constantly ignores the fact that Canada is already doing a lot to help the environment and that addressing environmental issues relies on upon big emitters like China where emissions keep surging and where they don't have the same regulations we have in Canada. In fact, the Paris Climate Accord that the elites love to praise so much allows China to keep increasing their emissions while Western nations like Canada are supposed to cut back. Once again, we see that, real see that reality. The elites, like McKenna, don't actually care about the environment. They just care about destroying Canadian jobs, taking our money and screwing over Canadian taxpayers. That hypocrisy can be seen in the fact that McKenna and the Trudeau Liberals have been silent and have taken no action on a new report that China has been secretly emitting an ozone uh, emitting chemical even though the world agreed to ban that chemical 30 years ago. According to the National Post, a chemical ban around the globe for the last 30 years has made an unfortunate resurgence. And all signs in a new study point to China as the culprit. In the 1980s, countries came together to sign the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer, a landmark treaty designed to halt and reduce the production of chlorofluorocarbons carbons, or CFCs, chemicals used in fridges and foams that had the side effect of tearing through the Earth's ozone layer. Scientists started noticing that the chemical was showing up more and more with levels of CFC-11 increasing since the year 2013. The increase implied that someone was secretly violating the Montreal Protocol, but the limitations of measuring devices meant the location of the polluter can only be traced to somewhere in East Asia. Now, in a new study published by Nature on May 22nd, Scientists from the University of Bristol, Kung Puk National University, and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, also known as MIT, found that between 40 and 60 percent of total global CFC 11 emissions originate from eastern China. With the help of an international network of measurement devices designed to identify and track gases in the atmosphere, the team behind the study found that data from their de devices in Korea and Japan has spiked since 2013 after analyzing weather and wind patterns to determine the origin of the gas increase it led them to eastern mainland China around the Shandong province. Has McKenna or Trudeau condemned communist China for this environment-destroying violation? Nope. They've been silent, even as condemning China would be a great strategic move, considering how China has been crapping all over Canada as of late. Instead, Catherine McKenna and Trudeau prefer to rip 
money out of our pockets, hurting Canadians, making us poorer, destroying jobs, wrecking our energy industry, and costing our nation billions. Imagine how much potential wealth and prosperity has already been wiped out by Trudeau and McKenna as other countries reap the, the, re, reap the rewards we've been so brutally denied. Well, of course, what else would you expect from a government whose leader very unashamedly said that he admires the basic dictatorship of China. Time to flush the turd and get a, ourselves a conservative majority government. Nothing else will do. Well, that's all I have for today. Like if you like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe. And remember, working together, we can help keep Canada free. Thank you and have a good day.